Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to synchronize two databases by using MySQL Workbench. So let's go to the Workbench and open connections to two MySQL servers. Here I'm going to connect to the MySQL server that's installed on Linux machine. Then I'm going to go home again and go back and I'm going to connect to the one of the uh, MySQL server that's installed on my local Windows machine. Uh, I, on my Linux MySQL server, I have a database called test and you can see different uh, tables in that uh, database. Uh, on the same uh, Windows machine, I have a test database as well and I have uh, some tables. Uh, but think about developers been working, they create some extra tables here like ComparedDB was not in the actual uh, test database uh, here in Prod uh, or other, other server and uh, there could be other changes they made it and uh, what I would like to do, I would like to sync uh, the schema of uh, this test database uh, from one source uh, to the other uh, MySQL server uh, database. Um, so it will uh, uh, not move the data, but it will compare the definition of tables, store procedures, or other objects, uh, and uh, then will overwrite uh, from the source. Uh, so if you look at the documents, the document says go to the database uh, menu and uh, then you will see synchronize uh, uh, database. But here I don't see that uh, tab at all. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to go to the database here, go to reverse engineering. And once uh, you will go to reverse engineering, it will open this wizard. Close that uh, uh, wizard, we don't need that. And then the actual goal was to open MySQL model tab. Once uh, that tab is open, uh, what we need to do, we need to go to the database menu here and uh, that has uh, synchronized with any source. That's where we need to go. Okay, good. Hit next and uh, then uh, we uh, can uh, compare uh, the, the multiple things here. We have a model uh, schemata here you can compare with the, another one in the destination. Uh, you have live database server, you have skipped file that you can compare. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, compare with the live database servers um, on both sides. So destination and all that looks good. And now we are gonna go to the next and uh, select our source. So I'm gonna select the source, that's my SQL Linux in my case. That's the host name, that's the port name, that's the username, and I have stored the password in the wallet. Hit next. Now select the destination. In my case, it's going to be my SQL AD, that's my local, my SQL installed on a Windows machine. So that's why I am putting local host, port, root, user, and password. I'm not going to select any default schema here. Hit next. Um, it did some comparisons or whatever. So let's uh, can it is connected to the servers. Good. Hit next. Now we are going to select uh, the schema or database that we would like to compare. So in this case, uh, test from the source and test from the target. That's what we would like to compare. Okay. And um, hit next. Now you know, it's going to give you some information. Go ahead and keep uh, hitting next. That's important window. The differences are found. Okay, you can tell from here the department employee table on the source uh, uh, is different from the department employee table on the de destination. So what changes are done? So if we will uh, run this script, uh, it will alter the table in the destination and it will drop the column called from date and it will create a new column uh, from underscore date because what I did I just uh, updated uh, one of the column in the destination and I removed uh, underscore from date um, just to show you uh, what uh, uh, there could be differences when we are going to run these uh, comparisons okay next uh, my table so my table does exist in source but does not exist in destination so it's going to create that table you can see the definition from here and uh, then you have another table that's a compare table uh, that's in the destination but we do not have in the source so it's going to drop that uh, table for us okay uh, now we go and uh, hit next it's going to give us uh, all those statements what we see previous uh, and it is going to run that um, you have option to just copy and uh, maybe you want to go and uh, schedule later uh, or run them later it's your choice but if you want to go ahead and run it is going to uh, execute and we go back to the databases and uh, remember here we have a compared table if we refresh it should be gone so now that is gone uh, all the columns uh, uh, this is my table was not here so my table was here in the source uh, and it is created in the destination so right there 
okay so that's our source and this is in the destination so compare uh, synchronizing two uh, databases is really a great tool when uh, uh, you can uh, kind of f find the comparison between uh, those uh, different uh, uh, tables and uh, you know create the DDL statements the data definition uh, language changes like alter column and all that and then run it make sure now when you are running these uh, comparisons uh, you are not running on a production you want to create those uh, statements might be okay fine you create from production and then uh, see all different options of uh, what uh, uh, need to be taken like you will take the backup first before you run the script uh, you will uh, make sure the data compatibility what data you have saved in those columns uh, if you will make changes uh, what will be the effect on that column so uh, there are a lot of other things you need to be remember need to remember when you will uh, synchronize two databases it is okay you take the database structure from your destination uh, let's say sorry from your production and push to the development machine or maybe QA machine that's absolutely okay but when you will go from the dev or QA or UAT to prod you have to remember or you have to consider a lot of other factors not just do click 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 and you will be in trouble so just do your analysis before you implement any change uh, I hope uh, this video will help uh, and I will see you guys uh, in the next video.